Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next uh, live attack video. And uh, as you can tell by the title of this, it's a little bit different. It's a throwback attack to 2014. Um, <clears throat> I would like to bring you guys a live attack from the Genesis Arranged War, but unfortunately, I'm not in it. So I'm over in Reddit Legacy doing kind of a fun war that some of the Alpha and Genesis people uh, are putting on. Uh, basically, what we're doing is 2014 style attacks so uh, no miners no baby dragons no valks because they weren't very popular back then uh, no dark spells pretty much for town hall 10 what you're going to see is the queen walk la Luna attacks which is what i'll be doing and i was never a town hall 10 before like the valk update when everything started changing so i don't have as much experience i've only done i think maybe one or two of these attacks at town hall 10 Maybe maybe not even, I don't know, maybe like one or two, but I don't actually remember a specific attack I've done with air troops, just because it's been so dominated by uh, Valks and now like bowlers and stuff. But anyway, it'll be nice to kind of see how things were a little bit uh, back then. So go ahead and show the plan, which actually I already started drawing in for some reason. Um, <clears throat> just kind of going through it myself. But anyway, I'm going to drop down uh, some wizards to start. So wizard here put like a minion here and then there uh, let those start to take out those buildings drop a giant to tank when they get in range try to get this builder's hut taken out and uh, if the builder hut goes down that will be good because it'll make sure my queen walk is good to go gonna drop her here with four healers let her make her way south uh, take out the queen as she aggros also I'll drop a hog for the CC troops it's a uh, dragon a wizard a balloon and an archer which I don't have a poison for, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I have a rage for the queen plus her ability. So those two things should keep her up to get both air defenses, the queen, the CC troops, um, all that good stuff taken out. So anyway, that's the goal there. Um, as she's making her way through, I'm going to drop down uh, probably like two giants and wall breaker in right there uh, with my king and maybe a few wizards to back him up. Uh, the king's going to get in there. He'll have to take out this enemy king, but... With the ability, he should also get the air defense taken out, and that's all I need him to do up there. At that point, there'll be three air defenses down. Now, there are the Teslas in the core which are drawn in, plus the Inferno Towers, so a bit of a tough core to get through, but I think I can. I have a freeze, and then I'll have three rages left over, assuming the queen only needs one. I'm going to drop in my first Lava Hound like that. I'll switch colors for the air. Uh, the air will be an orange. I'm going to drop in my first Lava Hound like that. And then I'll have my second one, which I'll just kind of dump over here. There won't be anything for it to target. It'll be delayed, so that, that air defense should be down. That's kind of the goal. Um, so that air defense is uh, the first priority. I'll drop in some balloons, some balloons directly on it. i just work my way around. I'll probably have my first rage in this area. Uh, and then, like I said, the lava hound over here uh, with some more balloons. That stuff should be down up top. Another rage, and I'll have a rage for the core. Also a freeze, which I'll probably drop on the higher level Inferno in the Tesla's next to it. Um, so anyway, they do have that sweeper here, which is going to push out in that direction. But uh, that's not the main part of the attack. The main part's going to come from this side over here. So hopefully the balloons and stuff will have enough to get it done. I really don't know how it's going to go, just because this isn't something <clears throat> that I'm as experienced with. But it's kind of fun being able to uh, do something that I haven't done in a while. So... Uh, I have the Lava Hound and the Balloon, no Dark Spell though because uh, the nature of the attack and then no Dark Spell on my own either. But besides that, everything looks good. Um, I'm going to have the two Lava Hounds, the Hog for the Lure, um, the Giants, uh, the Wall Breakers, yep. Everything looks good. We can go ahead and try out this one. Uh, it's number four. It's been attacked once, which is how I know where everything is. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, wish me luck, let's do this. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the uh, the minion down <clears throat> right there. Let's get the wizard going and the wizard going. Giant. Get in there, wizard. All right, they're not going to get that one builder's hut, but I don't think it'll matter quite as much. Uh, four healers, right like that. 
And the queen should go the right direction. I'm going to drop in a wizard just to be safe. Oh, she went out of range. Oh, but it still got it. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's get the hog going right here for the lure. Um, pop the queen's ability. Oh, the defensive queen went out of range. That actually sucks. Uh, we're going to have to rage her up in just a moment right there. She's raged up. She should deal with all that. Oh, is she on the dragon now? Oh, man, this really does suck. Oh, she got it, though. Wow, that was close. Uh, get that balloon, though. She'll get that balloon. Let's go ahead and start up here. Uh, let's get the giants, the king, the wizard, and one, two, three, four, right there. Um, okay, all that's good. Queen looks fine. The healers will get shot down, but that doesn't matter. Uh, let's pop the king's ability. All right, let's start in over on this side. Two, three, one, two, one, two. And to rage everything up over there. Lava Hound. One, two, three, one, two. Um, let's drop our rage in there. More balloons. Let's go ahead and freeze right now. And I guess we'll rage right there. I don't know how this is going. Things are getting shot down. There's all that air stuff in there, uh, which sucks. Um, yep, this is not gonna, not gonna fly. Uh, no pun intended. Yeah. Uh, basically, the air stuff just didn't get the job done. I'm not sure why. I'll have to see in the replay. But we'll get a little more percentage out of this base. But that's about it as we put everything else down. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's kind of hard to know, but I I think just too thin on the balloons initially, or yeah, maybe should just come strong from one side instead of trying to spread it out with the two lava hounds. Maybe should have just done, you know, one lava hound straight in on that right side away from the sweeper and just went from there. But we'll go ahead and end this madness before too much goes on. Uh, let's see. Nice try. Um, let's take a look at the replay. Am I the top? Yeah, I'm the top one. Uh, basically, the first part was all good. Um, we'll see right here. Drop down the, uh, the minion, the wizards. I did have to use one extra wizard here because the minion didn't get the camp out quick enough. So the wizard headed up north, which caused him to go for the top builder's hut, which really had no value to me. Um, and he went down before he got the other one. Then uh, I was a little concerned the queen was going to head up towards that builder hut as soon as she took out the archer tower there. So drop down that wizard, and luckily he barely gets that uh, the builder's hut taken out, but it does go down. And yeah, I think she would have gone for that builder's hut, because now right there she's on the mortar. Uh, but because of that, she goes over to the right, gets the wizard tower. A little bit of a mix-up here, because the enemy queen kept going in range and out of range. Uh, was it could have been a bad situation. I couldn't even do much. I guess I could have freezed the queen. But at this point, I'm just sitting back, really hoping that the queen doesn't go down. And right there, um, even though the, the dragon and the queen were on her, the rage was enough. Uh, so I think she got that balloon. I didn't see it. Yeah, right there, she goes in the balloon. It goes down. Uh, giants, wizard, this is all fine. The air defense goes down. Get the cannon too, which is a, a bonus. It helps with the pathing a little bit. So uh, right here, pop the king's ability. All that stuff will go down. Maybe a little early on the king's ability, but I wanted to get that damage out there while everything was still distracted on the giants. Um, here's where I might have gone too thin. I did like three, three, and two or something like that. Uh, there's the rage, but I guess just the inferno towers are too tough having both of them, plus the air traps, plus the Teslas. Um, the Lava Hound really isn't tanking that much, and you can't really tank for that multi-inferno because it has all the streams. Uh, which get on those balloons. Uh, there goes the freeze, but at this point, um, the air skeletons are activating. It's just too little too late. I uh, was never quite able to get in that core. Sure just came in from one side strong, probably, instead of trying to spread stuff out like I said earlier. Uh, but it is what it is. I guess I learned a little bit in case I ever want to do an air attack because, <clears throat> I mean, we're seeing some dragon attacks at Town Hall 10. I think we might see some La Luna attacks at some point if uh, people start to figure that out because... As, as bases tend to uh, try to defend against what's what's currently being used, that's room for new stuff to be invented, and air kind of might come back. It fluctuates as bases change, 
So it's good to, you know, have this kind of experience. But anyway, didn't quite work out for me, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, and uh, should have some coverage of that Genesis Arranged War as soon as I head back to the clan. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.